So what is the goal as far as the bull shark? In this part of the world, a lot of folks are attributing depredation to bull sharks. They're saying, hey, what's going on? If the sharks are biting my fish that often, there must be a lot more sharks in the water. Mm. And in the past 30 years, especially in the United States, we've done a really good job of protecting sharks. And so the populations are increasing. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, we don't have a great feel for which parts of Lake Pontchartrain they like the best. Yeah. What are the inlets where they might be coming in? Where are the areas where the water is just right for a bull shark? Right. But that's exactly what we'll be trying to figure out if we catch one, is we'll put in a little transmitter. For more than 15 years, Marcus has been catching, tagging, and releasing sharks. To date, he's tagged more than 10,000 in the Gulf and Lake Pontchartrain. Oh, fish on. Oh, you son of a... So maybe I can help him by tagging my first. What is that? Please be a shark. Please. That's one. Oh, That's on. one. That's a baby bull shark. That's a baby? That's the smallest they get. <laughs> Wait. That's the smallest they get. So they're in the womb that big? Yeah. Just gently lift it up, and I'm going to grab them right when he gets here. Yep. One, two, three, go. go. Ah. Perfect. <laughs> Look at that. It's amazing. It's crazy. Let's pop this hook out, see? Yep. You see that little belly button, you know it was just born. It's called the umbilical scar. And you see how it's oh, open? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Orange so July, he's just right? born. So he was just born like two months ago. Wow. <laughs> That's crazy, man. So check this out. That's a female. To track our baby as she grows up, we're going to need to implant a transmitter. All right, let's do it then. And amazingly, turning most sharks upside down puts them in a trance-like state. It's called tonic immobility, like a natural state of paralysis. This way, Marcus can get to work without adding to her stress. So you say that this shark is about a month or two old. Yeah, that's right. And at 30 inches, yeah. you know, it's, it's a good distance to the Gulf. So you ask yourself, what's a little shark like this doing? all the way up here, and the yeah, answer is... Yeah, what's a girl like this doing in a neighborhood like this? <laughs> That's exactly right, and the answer is it's the perfect neighborhood for the shark to be in right now. I mean, it's it's perfect in terms of protection. It's a safe neighborhood. It's a neighborhood with lots of food, and it's a neighborhood where there's not a lot of bad guys. So right. This is what we would call a primary nursery. So, you know, if you think about the big mothers, you know, it's like humans. They have birth basically once a year, and then she comes into an area like this, and she drops them off. Right right here in Lake Pontchartrain. So it turns out that many of the sharks causing havoc in my backyard are just kids. Well, pups. And growing up near New Orleans, these trainee predators realize that a fish on the hook is there for the taking. 